the internet since its inception never really looked at borders, never really looked at society bits. All it really cared about was packets from point A to point B, whether point A and point B were in the same country or across the globe. But then when you start looking at the internet through a bordered lens, so digital agenda of my country is I want to be first in whatever, right? That kind of puts you at odds with the concept of, but this is a global system. And while it is understandable that governments and policymakers want to develop those digital policies and concepts because, well, they're looking after their societies, it still needs to come with a foundation of understanding the plumbing of the system. That way, like I said, you don't yeah. knock down a wall unintentionally that could have severe consequences on others, well, down the pipes from you, right? In the shorthand, people say, well, misinformation of, you know, the internet or something. But it's really platforms that are built on top of the internet that are sharing this. So this is an issue that needs to be addressed at the platform layer. The problem becomes a problem when they try, governments or others try to address this at the technical layer. So changing how DNS works or IP, for example, to fix an issue uh, like for misinformation, which we have seen governments coming out and trying to do, it usually affects their internet in a much more negative way in the country, but also does not really solve the issue. And that's something that we've seen in many, many examples. The, the problem is also that it depends also on the country that's doing this because there are different countries that have dependencies when it comes to the internet. So for example, there are countries that have large coasts that allow them to have some marine cables docking into their countries. But then you also have landlock countries that then depend on the countries that do have those coasts, that do have those cables for their upstream providers to connect to the rest of the world. Now, if you make a decision as a country that has the cables coming in, you're not just affecting yourself anymore, you're affecting everybody downstream from you, which is the example of you knocking down a pipe, well then all your neighbors would still have an issue.